Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Pequeño Pod with Senor Pequeños. If you want episodes early, bonus episodes, special guest interviews, and other perks, please consider supporting us on Patreon, which will give you all of those things for the price of one coffee cup per month. You can find us at patreon.com slash pequeño pod, P-E-Q-U-E-N-O pod. Otherwise, enjoy this free episode, and I hope you have an awful day. Whoa, Nick's face. Oh! I just said, don't get up close to your mic and scream. The first thing you did was I'm go. Not close to it. Look how far away my mic is from me. What do you mean? That's the mage, dude. Nick is bald in the face. He's a little mm-hmm. baby. What happened? Little baby. I'm not twelve. <laughs> <laughs> so baby. I slept on a razor. <laughs> <laughs> there was no recovering. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, you, now you, you Snapchat as a picture of this, but how long ago was that? I can't remember. Was it like a week ago? Oh my god, I don't open Snapchat, so. <laughs> yeah, true. So, <laughs> so it really a was surprise. a surprise to you. I thought you were just acting. Was. She, I was like, wow, she did a good job. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Juliana, op- Juliana sees us like after a year. She's like, like you aged. <laughs> <laughs> wrinkles, <look> wrinkles. <laughs> I haven't up. seen a snap of you guys in over a year. Whoa. <laughs> the only oh. thing I've seen on Nick's story was the heart emoji. <laughs> and that was, that's the only recent update I've seen. For my dead brother. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? Huh? Yeah, I posted on his uh, birthday every year. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I didn't know that. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're like, I'm sorry. Well... <laughs> Anyway, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the relaxed comedy podcast. <laughs> Maybe slurp the pineapple louder and scream. <laughs> to distract from it. Yeah, is it cantaloupe? Oh, you mean nature's worst fruit? Mmm, moisture. <laughs> I've always just wondered why. I mean, that's always the fruit that's always offered at every place where they don't want to offer you fruit because no one eats it. Have you it. seen Bojack? Bojack? No, I want to. Bojack Horseman? They have a running gag about literally that exact same thing, but honeydew. The hotel is like, oh, come on down for our breakfast. We have mm-hmm. week old toaster pastry and cantaloupe. Yeah. So it's just yeah, bread he- and the worst fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe coffee, if you're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe coffee. Yeah. Unless you go to like a, like an embassy suites and then you're like, we have a chef on call that made an omelet eggs. while you were sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, that's the one I like. Yo! <laughs> Yo! He made eggs on my stomach! <laughs> I forgot my light wasn't on. Oh! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you want to see me in an angelic... <laughs> I can see God! <laughs> my eyes! Your eyes oh! burst into flames. <laughs> yeah, my eyes just blow. Like, it's... Excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they what? Your face... <laughs> Your face starts melting like in the Indiana Jones. That's like, exactly what I was just going to reference. My eyes, it's like the, you know, like a JPEG of flame over my <laughs> eyes. My face melts like a honeydew. <laughs> Not to give Juliana a topic while she's eating, but like this topics page is always filled with things that I put in here. But I noticed that she put some things in here that she's just never talked about. And so there may be nothing <laughs> attached to these. <laughs> One thing in here is Morbius pedophile. <laughs> I don't remember. Excuse me. I don't remember. I think we were just talking about Jared Leto. Yeah, I know. I think, right? I think that's it. Um, what is the content? Oh, that's you don't so... remember the Morbius pedophile? The Morbophile? Uh, um, uh... Uh, Whole new ish. definition to I'm gonna morb. No, I'm gonna morb. Okay, guys, we're gonna film tomorrow instead. Right, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have a good night, guys. Patreon um, exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> the, next, the next thing that Juliana typed <laughs> was nicotine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's it. You just typed in nicotine. What the fuck were you gonna talk about nicotine? Now, guys. 
You know something that I found out this weekend, nicotine. <laughs> the dangers and of smoking. <laughs> it probably was some article related to it or something, and I was like, I gotta talk about this. Maybe I was just trying to make a pun of Nick's name or something stupid like that. <laughs> oh, because, thanks. like, all my friends Nick, told me, like... nicotine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I was trying to make a joke with that, because my friends call me Jewel. Like, like the jewel pods. And, uh, and then I was like, oh. and then I was going to try to think of like a name for Daniel that was nice. uh, vape culture related. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't. So I probably wrote it in there and I was like, so all right, guys, nicotine. start, to, start. To no, no, no. Morbius pedophile was my nickname. Okay. <laughs> uh, the next one was Marvel has been mid as fuck lately. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was after I watched the new Thor. Like, it, they have a whole just subplot about the orgy of the gods. And I'm like, isn't this a kid's movie? They go on and on do. about yeah, the orgy. Yeah. Kids are going to be like, Mom, what's the, uh, what's the god orgy? Why isn't Thor invited? Speaking of orgies and families, did I guys... <laughs> <laughs> a legit story. We're Dragon. saving that for the new Patreon update, guys. Go follow our Patreon. New House of Dragons. Six thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, that was bad here. Oh, the the incest story. <laughs> no, did I tell you guys about the watch? I don't know if I told you guys about this. Oh yeah, well, is this the one that you went to watch in theaters with your okay. mom and there was an orgy? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you I guys, remembered you something. You guys just gave me war flashbacks when no, you war watched flashbacks. Orgy <laughs> and the orgy. The <laughs> watch. Did I tell you guys the burn after reading story with my parents? No. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, this is a good. Well, this is a good podcast story. So, <clears throat> so we share an Amazon account, like an Amazon Prime account. So I can see the stuff that they watch, and like if someone rents something, like I can watch it to save money, and if I rent something, they can oh, watch it. I thought it. you you could see like what they were buying, and they were gonna buy like sex toys yeah. or something. Yeah, no, I I can. Well, I mean, I'm but yeah, no, that that's not. I'm buying the sex toys. That, you know, they, <laughs> they no, fear I, me. <laughs> they fear me. On a side note, though, I am trying to get any butt plugs without you know credit cards numbers attached. So you got hit me black up. market. Off the dark web. Yeah. They just have like bite marks in them. (laughs) The Nerf football. (laughs) Torn, torn, and abused. (laughs) This is a king chess piece from the St. Louis tournament. What the fuck? (laughs) Anywho, so no, no. So I get on, um, you know, TV. I'm eating dinner or something, and I see that my parents rented Burn After Reading. Which, if you don't know what this is, okay, so first of all, let me preface this by saying we were a very sheltered family. We didn't watch, I think the first R-rated movie that my parents had seen while we were alive was when I was 17 and we watched The Matrix, which is like the mildest R-rated movie in existence. <laughs> you followed like the, the ratings for movies and you're like, you gotta wait till you're 17, kid. Like, oh my actually, god! Yeah. The I was so proud of myself though, because we had a class that year, senior year of high school, and we were watching Shrek. <laughs> and she was like, "What?" We were learning about whatever words, you know, like ogre and onion, onion. <laughs> <laughs> layers, layers, ogres, <laughs> and unpacking the multiple faceted lens of Shrek. Of Shrek. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I, what what's do it the called? onions represent? <laughs> Ogres, they represent ogres. That's very good, Daniel. <laughs> anyway, no, 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 no. It was, it was like, um, like the scene where Fiona jumps up and she's like, "What's that in reference to?" And I was like, "The Matrix." And she's like, "Oh, good for him. He knows his R-rated movies." And I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, I'm normal. Only one." <laughs> Our IQ is drooping. Anyway. <laughs> Back to the original story. So I'm getting on the TV. I see my parents had just watched Burn After Reading, which I kind of cocked my head to because if you don't know what it is, it's a, Co- it's a Coen Brothers movie. And if you know who the Coen Brothers are, you know it's probably going to be rated R with several pretty graphic sex jokes. So I was like, oh, like this is Big Lebowski and other assorted Maybe movies. Some violence. Yeah. So I was like, what are you thinking? Um, so anyway, I started watching it because the reviews were good. I hadn't seen it. I'm not going to waste money review what buying it at some point so i'm watching it and i get 30 minutes into it and there is a surprise shock gag where um, george just... clooney george you thank you for spoiling it. george clooney has been oh, working really? on this thing in his garage 
for the last half hour of this movie and you don't know what it is. And all of a sudden he reveals it to his wife and it's a giant mechanical dildo machine. And it's just he rocks this chair back and forth and all of a sudden this 13-inch veiny cock jumps out of this chair. And I was like, oh, oh. not because that surprised me as much as that my parents saw that. <laughs> and I that was, was like, like the oh, big reveal of the movie. My gosh, that was like that was a it was a reveal. Oh. It was actually pretty. It was actually a pretty funny movie. Anyway, oh. Oh. so um, I was like, oh, I am oh, not please. gonna mention that to my parents. <laughs> that weekend, though, my dad came to visit, and we got we started talking about movies or something. And anyway, we were at dinner, we're talking, and he was like, Yeah, um, we were watching this movie. Don't know if you've heard of it. And I was like. Mm. And he was like, yeah. And we got to um, that part. <laughs> and then he was like, I wanted to burn my eyes after watching that. And then he slams the food onto the floor. <laughs> breaks like all the plates. He pulls his, we're at Maggiano's, so he pulls his eyes out in the middle of a Maggiano's. Give me the Reagan signing and let's get out of here. Yeah, I was like, were you at Maggiano's? Did you throw up? Did, did what? Oh, I didn't throw up. No, good point. I did have vertigo, though. So I was just sitting there trying not to move my head the whole day. So they were like, what do you like to order? And I was like, spaghetti. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't like that? Wait, let me do it when I'm looking directly at the camera here. <laughs> It looks Sir? fake. It looks like an animatronic at a museum that you don't want to make eye contact with. His mouth is going to start like moving before he starts talking. Spaghetti! <laughs> <laughs> balls. Meat balls. Big meaty balls on my plate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is about Italy. What is, what's what's going all on? this? Anyway, no, so he, he, thought it was, he thought it was hilarious, my dad. But I mean, like, it was just... We were laughing so hard at the fact that I just couldn't imagine my parents sitting there watching this. I I watched Rent for the first time today. Oh, I still need to see it. It's a. Uh, I was like, oh, I like some of the songs from this. They're not like real humans in it, and I'm like, this this is not how people interact. Like, it's it's not oh, real. Oh. Like, there's I thought a you scene... meant like the. I thought you meant the play was about like robots. <laughs> no. <laughs> Conspiracy Fish. theory. It's all fake. <laughs> We got to pay the rent <laughs> on land. God, I hate windows. <laughs> yeah, that one meme where it's like, this motherfucker is why I have to pay taxes. And it's like the fish with legs coming out of the water. <laughs> Stealing our jobs. Uh, yeah, and like... The jokes oh in it goodness. are not good. It's like, who ordered the spaghetti and meatballs with meatless balls? And I'm like, funny. And then there's like oh, a scene good. where it's like, yeah. I hope people could like, hear you I say that. I wish you could go to a live performance and make like, this kind of critique. And then it was like. Julia, can you imagine her making that face turn and the person next to her like, Ow. funny. <laughs> You'd be like, I stare at one person in the audience. Look, get the hell away from me. <laughs> See here, sir. Get away from me. And then the two, the two females who are a couple are like, are like we're we're sisters. And then the businessmen are like sisters because they're like making out with each other uh. on the table. And then they're like, we're close. And then they move out of the way. And then the two dude couple is making out. And at the same time, they're like, brothers. And I'm like, this isn't real. These are not Gay. real. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm She's, sorry. I just, I'm just animated. <laughs> no, I love it. It's make, it's so funny. I'm just imagining you like. For some reason, this in, in my head, you've gone to this, you've gone to a live performance of Rent by yourself, and you're just saying this to the person next to you. Great situation. And I'm like, hackling like these Broadway performers. I'm like, boo! Not funny! Throws not up. Funny. <laughs> boo! <laughs> Yeah, I, I was watching it. These jokes and, suck. <laughs> and it's like right before 
like the intermission part. Imagine like, if they were fish. <laughs> That would singing. be funny. <laughs> they start singing Seasons of Love, and then randomly they change one of the lines in it, and it's like, uh, how do you measure the last year on Earth? And I was like, okay, so they're all gonna die? Like, in this next one? And then yeah, immediately fish. when they come back from the intermission thing, the one, the one named Angel obviously dies, because like, I saw that from the beginning. And then, um... Because he's a fish. E- Angel fish? <laughs> Those are, those oh, are that's good. That's good. That's and, good. That was good. You're like, write that down. Write that down. For TikTok. I have to. I gotta make something out of that. And then, uh, I was like, oh, okay. So they're just gonna start, like, dropping, like, flies. And then they didn't. And like I was telling my brother, like, I thought they were all gonna die. And he was like, God, I wish that happened. I wish it was just, like, the last two on oh, the stage. No. And they were, like, reaching for each other. And then they were like, <clears throat> and then it's like, yes! Thank God it's over! Because my brother hated it. My brother had to watch it for his, uh, he took a cinema class. Uh. And, uh, he thought it was gonna be on, like, watching old movies and, like, reviewing old movies. Turns out it was actually just a theater class, and they just made it that name to, like, Mm. trick people into taking that class. And my brother was, like, literally during that cringe death scene, it was so corny, I heard people in my class, like... (laughs) Like sniffling in the background, and I was like, "Who cares? Who cares?" John stands up and farts in their face. Yeah, (laughs) dude, that's that's a John move, though. I don't know how many times he he does that to me, like in a day. Every video call I've been on with you when you're walking through the house, it's literally happened. It's just like John farts like right in the phone, and I'm like, dude. I mean, the first time it happened, you were like, "He farted right in my face," and I was like, "Okay, but did he really?" Yeah, no, he yeah, did. And then I have, he did. Then I have yeah, pink no, eye the okay. next day, and I'm like, he did. He did. Alrighty. I swear. Oh. <laughs> Camera turns on both of her eyes. Just, like, <laughs> 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 just pink eye. <laughs> One giant pink eye. Just, Ew, what the fuck happened, dude? Dude, Tron is in the background. That's so cool. Woo. Sorry, I have ADHD, I think. <laughs> We're getting I screened. <laughs> We're getting screened tomorrow. <laughs> no, tomorrow's the brain MRI. Um, did I tell you about that? Um, so I've, you, I had you a... You said your veins weren't working. <sighs> this is my, we yeah. Know. So um, uh, I had a brain MRI Sunday for the vertigo issue just to make sure, like, it's nothing neurological, which, you know, I really wouldn't doubt because that's just the way things roll for me. Anyway, couldn't get past that because, yeah, four stabs into the IV couldn't get anything so we just kind of without words we both kind of walked out she went Kissed. home and killed herself and i left <laughs> i cried without words. we had an immediate connection it's it's something i struggle with every well, i mean like it's it's always a struggle with the rolling veins every time and i i have less trouble with it, it, which is if you think it'd be the opposite the blood work is worse because there's blood and it lasts longer but that's actually usually better because you, I don't know, I think maybe Once the skill level, well, I think usually the level of people you doing the blood work is better than the level of people needed for an IV. And it's nothing against them, but like you don't need someone that's good enough to get me. You don't need all those people staffed on the IVs because it's just generally not that hard to get people, you know? So mm-hmm. in their defense, you know, I get that, but it really shouldn't be that hard. But I mean... It's kind of weird we haven't had something. We've had veins for at least 2,000 years. We don't have another better at way least. of doing this than, like, looking at it and be like, well, here we go. Like, oh, it moved. Like, well, they'll do that. You know, like, it's, I, I don't Didn't understand. Did you have to have, like, the baby nurse come in and, like, the ones who, like, stab Yeah, that was a previous that are, like, one. a millimeter thick or whatever. I thought you meant, then... like, an actual baby nurse. And I was like, wow, that kid's smart, The baby. <laughs> Yeah, it's like babe, boss baby, but like nurse. This like, nurse comes in with a baby. I'm like, oh, thank you, ma'am, for coming. And she's like, no, no, not me, him. <laughs> He's holding a giant <laughs> needle. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? What? <laughs> His syringe oh, is like a baby bottle. Me. I swat the baby across the room. <laughs> the baby hits the wall like a fucking ragdoll. <laughs> Yeah, separate. That was a separate story. But anyway, well, so that was a separate time. So that time I got stuck eight times and I left. Somehow I didn't pass out, but um, that time the first woman stuck me twice or three times. She gave up. 
She comes back in there. This is like America's Got Talent or like a pageant show at this point. She comes in, music's rolling. Contestant she opens the door. She's two. like, contestant number two is Trish. She's in down in the ER. She puts uh, IV things into thrashing dead people that have their 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 fucking torso <laughs> sawn in half from car accidents. <laughs> That's exactly she said, how she said it. <laughs> she said that to me. Yeah. She's like, oh, she I got you. I can hit it with precision. I stick needles into people who are writhing around on the ground. Yeah. She's building Pretty? herself up. And I know by the buildup, I'm like, I know you're not going to get it. I know you're not going to get it because it's not about the confidence. Anyway, she doesn't get it. So she leaves and she quits and she quits her job. So then she leaves. The next person comes in and she's she like, this is Karen. She does. She's a preemie baby nurse, which means she has to put all the veins in the dumb little tiny baby veins that shouldn't have made it, but made it. And I'm like, okay, she couldn't do it. And then at that point, we were like seven or eight in, and I was like, I'm going to go eat lunch. I was seven in. I was like, I'm going to go eat lunch. I'm going to come back. Seven strokes in. And we're going to do it one more time. You're going to what get back? It, and I'm, <laughs> and I'm going to go back. I just said it again. I'm going to arrive what? back. On whose back? What? And if we don't get it on the eighth time, I'm leaving. And then they didn't get it on the eighth time, and I left. Anyway, back to this time. Yeah, it was only four times. I didn't pass out. I almost did the first time, um, but thankfully, I didn't. Um, but yeah, she was just not like well equipped for it. I mean, granted it was a Sunday, but she was like, she was just one of those people that like talks way too much about like not being able to do it. I'm like, I really don't need to hear the status update. She was like, she was like someone that like was getting peanut butter on her hands. You know, she was like, uh, gosh, darn it. Not, just darn th- I'm, I, I don't know why I'm not getting I, this darn thing. I'm like, stop, please stop, stop, please stop, 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 stop. <laughs> I just, it's, it doesn't help at all. And then at the end of that, she's like, could you be a little less nervous? I'm like, <sighs> <laughs> ma'am, respectfully. Can you calm the fuck down? <laughs> respectfully, I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> well, I did, res- I responded in a nice way and I said, I'm the same level of Kill nervousness yourself. ever. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, respectfully, end yourself. <laughs> No, so I, I, ba- I just said, like, I'm the same level of nervousness every time. I'm a common faith uh, denominator, common denominator, common factor. And it's like, sometimes people get me on the first time, sometimes they don't. It, it just kind of is what it is. And then after that, she was like, she didn't tell me to like, stop And then she was like, cry about it. And then, and then she just walked out. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. It didn't go well. Yeah, so we're going to try again tomorrow. And thankfully, I'm going to the downtown campus and it's at like 7. So prime shooting spree hours. So I'm hoping I get somebody that's good. But we'll what? see. Wait, huh? Is there shootings <laughs> off in there at this hospital? What is this? Well, in like the city, yeah. It's like Chicago. <laughs> it's like Chicago. Is St. Louis like Chicago? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it is. No way. Yeah. Just, yeah. The murders like, are high. <laughs> Not where I live, but, uh, you know, anyway. He's just, like, standing under the arch, and he's like, yeah, Chirac up in here, you know how it is. <laughs> One time I saw a couple fighting. Scared me to death. <laughs> One time they were fighting over their apple slices with their picnic. It really just scared the crap right out of me. <laughs> I don't go there anymore. Not a good area. <laughs> I don't leave my home anymore. I stay here. I have everything I need right here. No I have everything I need right here. I can see the arch on Google. <laughs> I ran out of cancer drugs, though. I am dying. But, you know, rather die in here than die out there. So You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? No, some actually. Some. <laughs> <laughs> so dangerous on these streets, I can't even give my medicine. I gotta stay inside and just die and suffer. I walked home once from Amtrak at like 11.30 p.m., and I was like, I should not have done that. I probably walked by a few <laughs> murders, to be honest. And I was carrying a sack of stuff, like on a stick. I was like, I was prime for a robbery. Look at this kid carrying his old livelihood on his back. Oh, oh. No, oh. I'm like, that's me. <laughs> I was carrying, I really could yeah, carry you on, your, like... on, your, on my back. <laughs> Yo, no. Look at him carrying a woman on his back. That's not suspicious at all. <laughs> that's not suspicious. She's not dead. Relax. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> oh, that's just Daniel. You know, it's you know, that's that's oh, good old Daniel. The usual. That's the usual. Like, that's like the Jeffrey Dahmer show where the neighbors are all like, hmm, I'm hearing some weird stuff and smelling some weird smells in that apartment. I better call the police. And then the police are like, oh, it's just gay stuff. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that's literally what 
they what? say? Like they come We in love there. allies. Yeah, yeah. They come in there and there's just like a passed out young man who's like obviously like 14 and he's like, oh yeah, he's he's 19. He's my uh, boyfriend. But they look like a 14 year old child. And he's All like, no, right. no, he's he's just drunk. He tried to steal some alcohol from the liquor store. I, I brought him here. Everything's okay. And the police are like, ew, gay stuff. I'm going to leave now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> well, yeah. we all know that's what happened. Yeah, like like every time they look at something, like there's like in the bedroom, there's like literally like a dead body that's like being dissolved in acid. And mm. then he's like, oh, you you don't want to go in there. There's some gay stuff in there. And then they're like, that, that's why it smells. There's some dead stuff. I mean, gay <laughs> dead stuff. I mean, gay. There, there's, yeah. de- there's some dead gays. And fu- um, <laughs> <they're>, <laughs> ew. Yeah. Let's yeah, get out of here, yeah, Johnson. Lots like... of ABBA albums in there. You don't want to find <laughs> Lots <them>. of ABBA. <laughs> oh, great. Lots of Queen in there. Mm-hmm. Queen? Huh? I like Queen. <laughs> oh, no. I love Queen. Yeah, oh, fuck. Yes. I, yeah, I am. I. That's just one of the. You, like, I don't know any. I don't, the only good thing about that show is the TikToks that have come out with it. They're funny. But, like, that's one of those shows that immediately upon, like, hearing about it, you know it's one of those that they made just, like, to get money from, like, whoop, Dolmer, 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 look, it's Dolmer. Like, it's kind of like the one with Zac Efron that came out, you know, where it's like, like, Zac Efron, Zac Efron, hot, hot person. Yeah, they're yeah, like, let's keep just... making hot celebrity serial killers so that people are into, like, this murder fetish. That's, yeah, that's no hot, one... right? People like that. People like... Yeah, there are and ones that come out. There are ones that murder. come out. There are ones that come out that are, like, respectful and about the victims or about something else that was going on at the time. And you like never an hear them because, yeah, you know, well, or, like, No Man of God. You probably never heard of that movie. It's Elijah Wood, uh, Ted Bundy movie pretty decent movie it was a pretty interesting thing that was going on about how they got him to start confessing to stuff but they didn't write it off the fact that ooh, ted bundy ted bundy murder ted bundy hot murder ted bundy hot naked murder person like it's just a movie and it was about something more than that and it was small budget but i mean you know this is the same deal there was a tiktok sam khan stitched it but there was a video you know this the trend on tiktok with that song what's the song it's the taylor swift song yeah the Da, 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 Shake it off. Shake it off. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. It's and that the nice... baker's gonna bake, bake, bake. <laughs> it's... Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. A lyricist. She is the a lyricist of God our generation. Her, Best dude. lyricist. God save the queen. No, she's gone. God save the Taylor. Swift. <laughs> yeah, she's our. She's the truth. I don't queen. care if the bitch cured cancer. She was British. <laughs> Good riddance. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite quote <laughs> i just no, recently no, no. found out that taylor swift's father donated like 2.3 million dollars to like the record label that like signed her and that was why they signed her and now she's like they stole all my songs and she's like right and i was like okay i'm sorry that your dad paid like three million dollars and that you were a rich nepo baby like i'm sorry <laughs> Yeah, and I'm sure everybody that follows her was like, let's kill him and eat his body. And like, yeah, they were. Huh? They were. They're like, we're kill, kill the record producer. No, the record producer people, they're like, they're stealing her songs. And I'm wasn't like, wasn't she? She got signed she to the record label. What, did, what did she, how'd you think it worked? It's not my fault she got signed to it when she was like 12. She didn't understand. Didn't she just come? Oh, yeah, I was going to say. Well, and didn't she? Wasn't her thing recently? Was it her or someone else that came out as like the biggest like jet fueled user yeah, celebrity? Too. Yeah, and she was it's like, no, 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 I just let other people use it. It's like, yeah, they still used it. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> like, that's that's not good. She's like, yeah, I just let one person use my jet at a time. It's <laughs> one every day. And like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, dude, she's not even on tour or anything. She's not even. She doesn't have. She had to get her travel. Starbies. <laughs> yeah, she's like, you remember that like uh, conspiracy theory that like she didn't like leaving her like New York studio, so they would have her come down in like a briefcase. Like they would like her security guards would carry her in a briefcase and then load it into a car, and they're like Taylor Swift's in that bag. She's in that bag. And I was like, what? <laughs> the Swifties are fucking weird, man. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's. You you never heard about that? No. <laughs> she just was like.
like tired of being seen by the public. She just had a really public relationship with Tom Hiddleston, whatever his name is, Loki. And like oh, she yeah. made him wear that t-shirt that said, I love TS, like I heart TS. And then she's like, oh my God, why is the media all over me? After she kept like posting about them. And then when they broke up, she was like, I can't be seen in public. And she apparently didn't leave her studio for like months. And they're like, she has to have left. They're carrying her out in suitcases. <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> and then they I would love... show pictures of, like, comically large suitcases coming out of the building. And I was like... Could be. It's her. Could it's be. her in the suitcase. <laughs> yeah, I was like... Well, it makes know. sense. Yeah, I was like... I love that we like to defy the stereotype of, of men talking about women on podcasts by having the women <laughs> talk about the women on our podcast while okay, we listen. I like, Quality. I like most women, and I support most pop stars. I don't, I don't like her. I just gotta say, not a fan. Not a fan. Well, a bunch of gonna... them, a bunch of them were attacking uh, Dylan O'Brien because he, so he was in that music video of hers. Where they were talking about, like, um, I mean, I think the whole point was, like, the age Trifty. gaps and power dynamics and stuff. And everyone was like, ooh, we love Dylan O'Brien now. And I was like, we've loved him before. But, you know, okay, welcome. Okay. I was going to say, my but friends now, had now I guess in high school because of Teen Wolf. <laughs> <clears throat> right. Well, like, now he's, I guess, dating someone that's, she's 24 and he's 31. And they're all like, ooh, dangerous age gap. I'm like, 24 and 30? Are you insane? Like... What the fuck? Like, people, like, they turn off the comments of the TikTok. They were like, Whoa, what is he doing? Oh, my heart broken. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? Save her. Save her. <laughs> she's just, she's just a, a minor. She's just a poor teenage girl at the age of 24. How is she supposed to know what she's doing? She's you like can't expect school. her. You can't expect her to know. You're going to manipulate her. She's a her dumb, stupid, is... small-brained woman. Yeah, her brain is too <laughs> fragile. Don't you know that the human brain doesn't fully develop until 25? 43, he's, yeah. He's totally <laughs> taking advantage of her. Yeah, I was just like, oh my gosh, get off of it, man. Goodness gracious. Ugh. Ugh. Anyway, now that we have all the Swift people listening to our podcast, go check out our Patreon where we talk about, I don't know, our naked lives. I don't know. <laughs> Peas and stuff. News how much to is, me. How much is the highest tier? 50? <laughs> That's how much my dick is worth, honestly. I mean, if we're being honest, oh, no. all the other free dicks out there, are we being honest? Fifty bucks. A I should be giving you money to see my dick. It's all the free stuff out there. Are you kidding? Um, oh boy. One thing. One thing that okay, we read a bunch of Juliana's notes on here that didn't make sense. One thing I wrote down here that I've been racking my brain for weeks. I don't know what it means. I wrote putting mom down, and then Juliana wrote down, "Excuse me." And, <laughs> And I still don't know what I was going for there. Were you in a dark place? What happened there? It was, it was during the weekend when your mom visited. And Here's an idea. It's putting just... mom down. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh, li lively put down, we're trying for a baby. Did you have oh, something yeah. you wanted I mean, to rant about there? That? That's the one that I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, why That's do people it. just openly, openly tell their family that they're like trying for a baby? I'm, and I'm coming like, in her. <laughs> yeah, we're hitting it raw. Every night. <laughs> yeah, that is. It that, really grandma? is. <laughs> how about that, Grandma? I am having <laughs> vaginal <laughs> penetrational sex with your granddaughter. Imagine. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand that. Especially because the only people that say that are, like, the really strict, like, religious couples, isn't it? I've never heard, yeah, it, like, regular people is. say that. They're always, like, they're always like, don't worry, we're not having sex for pleasure. We're not. Don't worry. No pleasure. No if you've it's been looking through our windows, making. it's not for pleasure. <laughs> baby making. It is the it's not because we like it. We're trying it's... for a baby. I just keep pulling out. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta try again. <laughs> I just keep spilling my seed on the ground like it says in Isaiah 12. My it's a sin. Ew. Ew. <laughs> I hate that so much. Oh. I wrote down uh, Karen at Ikea. That's a pretty short story. I've never seen... There's all these videos with Karens, you know, that run around screaming, and I wonder half of them are fake, you wonder. But then uh, half the time you're like, that that's real. That feels real. People are that stupid sometimes. So I was at Ikea, and I actually saw one. Saw one live. And I saw one that was purely 100% racial. 
And I know that without understanding a single word this blithering idiot woman said, because you just know it's racial because the second she started screaming, we all look over. No, well, no, here's exactly how you know. Because there was, there was a black guy that was just talking very quietly, hands up, what? feet firmly planted, just kind of looking down like this. And there was a woman in front of him pointing, going this, and screaming in his face like this. And I was like, yeah, that's racist. And she's like, yeah, 100% right. <laughs> you can't and after she's, and after she's, and after like, she's <laughs> no. And after she's done screaming, she goes, <laughs> and she like cowers in her boyfriend's arms. And he's like, there, there, the blacks. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, she's what? Like, I feel so threatened right is now. This the, is this the first time you've seen one at Ikea in St. Louis? Where the fuck <laughs> did you come from? She's like, my yelling didn't frighten him off. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> well, and props to the guy. I mean, he could have been like, I'm going to kill your entire family. You're a three-year-old. I'm going to kill her. I know where you live. He could have been saying yeah, that, that for all I know. That wouldn't have gotten him arrested just, for just sure. Just kidding. No, no, no. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. So, I mean, to his, yeah, to his, I mean, she was going at it and he was just, he wasn't yelling back. I mean, he was just not, I mean, like, again, you, you, you know, you can't because the Ikea people would shoot you. I mean, it's, what it's if, they're Swedish. <laughs> what if you misread the entire situation and she's like, how big are those cabinets? And he's like, I don't know what this big <laughs> And she's like, that's so it's big. It's too big. Oh, no. And he's like, wow, that is just giant. Our kids are going to love this, aren't they, honey? No, they're going to love like, it. She's like, we already bought them. They're not going to fit. It's ah. going to fit in the room. He's like, oh, man, I'm sorry. We're going to, I think we might have to just refuse it for now. But thank you for all your help. He's like, it might be like. <laughs> and he's like, I don't know. If I had to think about it, maybe it's like this big. <laughs> Anyway, That's thank terrible. you for your help. And Daniel's like, oh, that racist. <laughs> True. Thank you for all your help. I'm glad you people get jobs now. He walks away. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. No, I mean, like, I was standing essentially right next to it. So, I mean, I kind of took a step towards him. And then, like, Ikea people came up basically just to, I mean, I, we, I legitimately could not hear what she was going on about. It was something about being in line, like that he was in line and she wanted to be before him. It was something stupid like that. Um, but like people were just kind of there. Like, Get to the like, back of the line. Just well, like I the think back they, of the bus. You know where you belong. Uh, <laughs> I think they called security, but like because Ikea is the size of Wisconsin, I mean, they were like, it's going to take them a while they to get lost. there. <laughs> they are like drowning. We're in lamps. Animals. I didn't even know Ikea had lamps. <laughs> Fuck me. Just... <laughs> Just tell her to close her eyes. Maybe she'll stop yelling slurs. <laughs> I don't think that'll work, Bill, but thanks anyway. She closes her eyes. She sees Black starts screaming. Like, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah. I can't turn it off. I can't turn it off. She shines a flashlight onto her closed eyelids. Ah, much better. Veins. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, honey. Yeah, well, I mean, it pissed me off. I mean, like, it was, it was, I'm not worse, but I mean, the, the boyfriend was like, there, there. <laughs> Like, 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 you weren't ashamed at all. Like, everyone, everyone's watching this at this point. It's not the, like the checkout lanes. Like, I don't yeah, know. I wouldn't want to be Ridiculous. associated with that. I'd start well, like I, scooting away from my girlfriend. I'd be like, "That's all well, I, That's This so racist me. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen this woman in my life. I put my penis in her like twice, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> No, I thought about, like, filming it just in case she, like, hit him or something, like, just so we'd have it. But I was, like, so ashamed to do that. I felt like a piece of shit to start filming it instead of, I don't know, doing something. So I just, like, didn't. But I was like, what if she does? I mean, I mean she can, was really getting mad. I didn't know what to just, do. You can just, like, start filming because that will discourage them from doing it. Well, I it. can't do it. I can't do it, like, discreetly. So I would just be like... Well, I, I mean, don't do it discreetly. <laughs> I mean, just start recording and being like... I guess. And then if, she, if she's like, why are you recording me? And you're like, why are you yelling at that man? <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, that was the end of the story. That white was the people end of the story. Be, white people be wildin'. White people be whitin'. I don't um, understand. That's the place you chose to broke was in Ikea. The furniture was too much for you. Like, after all these couches, I just have to say, I don't think they should vote. I don't think they should, like, <laughs> huh? She's like, this store is for people from Sweden only. <laughs> <laughs> she was definitely not Swedish. She was one hundred percent stupid page. American. <laughs> She's like, "Where is uh, your blood? Where is your white blood? I need to see it. Pure, pure blood." 
Yeah, uh, I, I, uh, I think it's safe to say that the weeping, screaming white person was probably doing something racist to the dude that was doing absolutely nothing to her. But I could be wrong. Who knows? She stumbled. He may have been like, he may have been like, I, I've got a bomb. I'm gonna blow it up. I'm gonna kill everyone. <laughs> Oh, like, why would you down, do that it'll go off. and i'm there filming her like whoa whoa get out of his face you idiot <laughs> yeah he's like riddle me this if you don't <laughs> hands go down boom <laughs> riddle me piss i kill woman <laughs> why is the oven cold when you put the oven in the hot oven <laughs> she's like stop make it stop i'm like you're such an idiot woman <laughs> Her yeah, yeah, like idiot. Her husband's, her husband's head blows up. <laughs> I'm like, well, look what you did with your yelling, you idiot. <laughs> the frequencies are too high. <laughs> you moron. <laughs> you idiot. I yeah, went to no. Korean barbecue the other day, and my friend, like, when we got into the parking lot, he just pulled right into the stall in front of us. And as we were getting out, this big guy was just like, hey, hey, buddy. And we're like, like, looking around, and then he's like, yeah, you, you, you know how to drive? And then he's like, what, what was that? And then he's like, do you know how to fucking drive? Oh, no. You know how to fucking drive, bro? And then, <laughs> like, all of us were like, he was just, he just went straight into the stall. And then he's like, and, and he was like, y- yes. And then he's like, well, my wife and daughter were right there. Just so you know, you could have hit them. But they were, like perpendicular to us they were in like a different stall and they were just getting out of the car so they weren't even close to us nowhere near us and we were like oh man that was my wife was in the city how dare you yeah it was so awkward i was she was over there (laughs) yeah she was way over don't you know better than to be in the same vicinity as my wife and child don't look at my wife (laughs) don't look at my wife Don't look at my wife, don't look at my wife, don't look at my wife, don't look at my wife. I was just trying to ignore him because he was like this huge dude. (laughs) And he his shirt said like take the hood out of the hood or something like that, like his hoodie. And I was like and I was just like I was like It's the guy that yelled at Nick for the hat. Yeah, I was just (laughs) trying to yeah. We don't do that here, buddy. Yeah, I was I was just trying to Ghostbusters hat. (laughs) (laughs) I was just trying to ignore him and then like my other friend was like, dude, thank God you said something because I would have, like, wanted to tussle. I, I probably would have, like, said something, like, condescending back to him and would have started shit. But, like, when we walked in, I guess the grandpa, he was, like, this super jacked guy. And we're like, oh, thank God we didn't start anything with them. He just was like, boom, boom. And I was like, ah! no neck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then, like, uh, the second we walk into the restaurant, the wife is already yelling at, at the hostess. Already yelling. Oh, so it's like a we, family of them. <laughs> yeah. We've been in the parking lot and inside for a total of like one minute, 45 seconds. <laughs> so it's like, she, she's already yelling and she's like, she's like, why haven't we been sitting yet? She didn't even take my name down. And they're like, oh, well, like your whole party wasn't here yet. So we were just going to wait. And then she's like, why don't you see me now? And then they're like, okay, okay. And then, and then like, they, they like grab their daughter's hand to take him with her. And she starts having a temper tantrum, like a two or three year old, like a, like a, you know, terrible twos, toddler type thing. And she was like five or six. And I was just like, dude, huh, interesting, interesting. <laughs> yeah, and me and my yeah. friends and like brother are all just oh. looking at each other and we're like, this family seems. Wow, they're not like good a, parents. That's crazy. Like a class act. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, they, they just are grabbing the child and dragging her along to the table. And then the child is still. By like, her nose. Throwing, <laughs> yeah. She's still like throwing a temper tantrum. <laughs> And she's just like, like, I'm trying to eat and they're across from me and the child just takes off her shirt. Right. And she's just like, the mom's like, no, don't do it. And she's just like, and then like, she just has her shirt off the whole meal and I'm just trying to eat. And this kid is like very overweight. So I'm just like, wow, I don't like when young, I don't like, I don't like chubby people. I don't like (laughs) fat little dumbass kids. No, I don't like when like girls over five years old start taking off their shirts and like, it's a valid statement, but eight years old. No, no, it it just made me really uncomfortable. And I was like, 
can they tell her that that's not appropriate? Like, okay, for the for the people listening to the episode, I I crossed my eyebrows and shook my head after I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Just to, so we're clear that that was a I stupid my joke. Eyebrows. He had a big smile on his face and he was wow. licking his lips. Yeah, I was, was drooling. <laughs> or guys who get mad when like teenage girls wear bikinis like to the beach. And it's like Yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let them It's like uh, it's, it's well, a swimsuit. What are you looking like, at? That's so provocative. You can't be doing that. that. Why like, are they doing that? That's terrible. <laughs> I I'm so provocative. Yeah, and yeah. Or I, like, what are they they're, they're corrupting all of the the men. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's literally like or, like, women who were wearing kind of, like, skimpy, sexy bikinis. Like, all the videos of guys coming up and, like, reprimanding them and being like, You know my son is here? On men. this giant men beach? Men are the problem. <laughs> on this on this edge of a country? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they're just like, how dare you come here, like, looking like that around children, around young boys? You're gonna corrupt their minds. And they're like, what? They can't, they don't know what, like, a woman's body looks like. And they're like, no, you're gonna make well, they don't know what these are? The, <laughs> yeah. You're gonna give the family computer viruses because of you. Yeah, yeah, that's basically what he was saying. He was like, he was like, yeah, this leads to a porn addiction. And then she's like, how is this my fault? Like, have you never yeah, seen that Yeah, how is it not video? your fault as a terrible parent? Yeah. And then the dad was literally trying to justify it. And he's like, it's women like you. You almost ruined my life because I got addicted to porn. Oh, here we go. Blah, blah, blah. We and I was like, go. bro, why are you just saying this on Dude, the beach? Dude, you're just projecting. Uh, <laughs> I know, he really was. I think I, I, think I know the video you're talking about yeah. because I think it yeah. went pretty viral. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, sad now that a lot of women have to just film themselves on the beach just in case, you know, yeah. people decide to come up and just do this shit. And fucking yeah, to like harass the gym, them. Gym, anywhere. How is it not your problem? If you have a problem with it, you look away. Why is it fucking <laughs> exactly. your problem? You leave. It's because you probably wanted a better look at him. Are you yelling at Google Images? Damn you, Google, for getting me into my porn addiction. Like You showed, you showed me boobs after I looked up boobs. Yeah. I hate Where's Google. my safe search? How safe dare you? Search it's, it's the same thing. When your eyes go to that, it's the same thing. It's I, Why do we have to talk about this? We're, ta- we're preaching to the choir. Everybody that's listening to this is a sane human being that knows this. Except for that one person that follows the you on the poop app. But <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. <laughs> We lose our fifty dollar picture. <laughs> <laughs> no. Fuck! No. I'm so sorry. I'll yeah, show you my poop. <laughs> on on my last uh, poop, that was a pretty uh, pretty gnarly one. They were like, "Thanks for the shout out," and I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> Let's go. I got. A, I did get a random DM, and I think they said thank you for the shout out. So I bet that was um. What do you call it when you t- tell people not to go outside? A cur- uh, purge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> True. Why don't we do a purge on the men, honestly? Um, no, a curfew, yeah. Why don't we, why are the curfews on the women, not the men? Oh what? yeah, like in the seventies in like the uh, London yeah. or whatever when there was the serial killer running rampant, like killing yeah. women. I've I've been through three seasons now of Daredevil and I have to ask, is it that big of a moral issue that people don't want to kill the rapists and like is that actually a thing that people are just like, we don't want to kill anybody? Like, I mean, no, I guess there are pacifists, sure. but I mean, I think we can all agree on that one, right? I, I, think I don't know. We can know. all agree on killing the rapist, but <laughs> maybe, I think maybe so that's just my hot take. <laughs> yeah, hot take. Say it was self defense. <laughs> You're walking outside. Yeah, because that's going to help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You blow a hole through their stomach and you're like, he was coming right at me. He turned my way. <laughs> their entire head's gone from a shotgun. They're in like their bed at night. You were like, he was coming right at me. You're like 12 blocks from your house. His plans for the next day were to get up and go out. <laughs> Who knows what he would have done. Uh, I'm telling you, we got to start like, okay, I understand that sometimes, at least now, the ju- like the laws are pretty good. But the, the people are corrupt, and sometimes people slip through that are innocent, that are not. For but like, let's like find, let's find some, let's find some people we know are guilty. Let's start with them, and let's decapitate them publicly. Let's then let's just measure and see how far the rape things go down, and then let's just keep going just for funsies and just to see what happens. You know what? I bet, I bet my the guess would be could goes raise down. money. By making it a public display. I oh, bet I'd some freaks pay. and pay millionaires would be, like, spending big bucks to see some... No, they wouldn't. Because yeah. they are the ones that would be getting killed. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Shaking his, 
I don't want to see my friend die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Only my competitors. <laughs> I don't really, I don't know. My dad's going to be there. I mean, like in it, you know, so I don't really know how I want to do it, bro. But oh, it's not dang. how I want to remember him. <laughs> yeah, I just want to remember him as like, well, okay, I guess he was always kind of a rapist. But, you know, I, I, <laughs> anyway, this is a great topic we got on. I'm. This is good. Oh, Epstein, course. was he killed? I think he was. 100%. And I think it was deserved, though. But, like, I think he was. I, it's, you want to know something? Sus, man. That's one of those conspiracy theories that I'm like, I don't know, why was the night guard... Yeah, why didn't, yeah, yeah, there, yeah. there are always two guards on duty. One of them just happened to not be there because of, like, a riot or something. And then the other one happened to Uh-oh, fall asleep. Uh-oh, a riot asleep. in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. They happened be to right fall back. asleep. Someone yeah. said I'm going to blow this up. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> they happened to fall oh, asleep no. Gotta during go one hour. For the riot. Like, <laughs> yes. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I like, can tell yeah. when she's fed up with me. I'm sorry. No, no. <laughs> and, and then the guard, the other guard fell asleep, supposedly, during, like, the one hour he was left oh, unattended. Sh- and I was like, shh, interesting, <laughs> interesting. The one time he was left unattended. Then, and that guy was just so full of himself. Like, he was so egotistical and, like, I Yeah, there are people, was... like, trying to prove things. And I'm like, well, I, I mean, as long as he's dead, that's all I care about. So, <laughs> you know, good fucking riddance, I guess. There are a whole bunch of others of those out there, though. One, this is on conspiracy theories. Um, when the I was Clintons in, when I was in, hitmen. That, that's like well, there's a whole bunch of shit with them that actually is like, yeah, I just Sus. no, they're they're really sketchy people. Yeah, I, I was like, there's a lot of coincidence. The saxophone on late night TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a likable guy. He's, He's like, just like me. If I played the saxophone and you know took my power night. dynamics and you know made a woman have sex with me, but you know it's just like me. And I stuck a cigar up her. <laughs> no way! Did he really? Bill, really? Bill, what? Dude, I've Bill, never Bill, looked into Bill, that. Bill. Dude, <laughs> did he actually do that? Was that actually something he did? Like a specific... Just say yes or no. I don't know if she said... I, 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 I don't know if that was something yeah, she claimed. Just tell it, me dude. yes. I, I think I think they found... They found a cigar in her... Yeah, I think they found fluid on the cigar. <laughs> oh, yeah. on the cigar. Yeah. Boom. What's a conspiracy theory you believe? Okay, well, here's one that um, it's not really as big a conspiracy theory as I think it should be because no one cares. Why would we? But this is a, a just I was randomly assigned a president to us. We all got presidents in grade school. Like, look up this president, whatever. I got Zachariah Taylor. Have you ever heard of him? So he was, president in my Taylor. opinion, in my opinion, he was the first president to get assassinated. Was he the hot one? I don't <laughs> fucking know, dude. What the Lincoln. hell's wrong with you? <laughs> no, I was Lincoln. <laughs> I was looking so, at my pennies no, no, no. with There's seduction. There's like this random picture where it's like a portrait of him and people were like, mm, mm, and I was like, who? No, definitely not this guy. This guy was like old war general guy. <laughs> oh, never mind. No, so this guy, this guy, I didn't un- understand the political dynamics of this until I grew up and I like, I was just looking it up last weekend because I was interested with my dad because for some reason we started talking about it. But when I was a kid, all I understood was th- there was all this mystery around how he died that he essentially just... One day, I mean, he's a war general, so he's in pretty good fucking health. And then one day, one day he was, all he ate was like milk and cherries as he was doing this 4th of July party. And he died in like two days. He just immediately like up and died. <laughs> and they're like, uh-oh, stomach, stomach bug. Too much and, milk. <laughs> uh Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, that's a little, and, and, and there was other stuff when I was a kid that I, we were looking up. And I just, the more I looked into it, I was like, dude. Well, this was, this was so, sorry, Zachariah Taylor, I should have specified, this was like pre-Civil War. This was, he could have averted the Civil War, actually. So, um, anyway, and then we're looking into it now, and I was looking more into the political things, and the story is really interesting that basically this guy was like, he wasn't really on any of the major political parties at the time, that he was just this, he was essentially, so he was a war general hero, so the South liked him for that. But he was also very against slavery, so the North liked him for that. So he split the parties, and basically because of a fluke of something or other, just a perfect storm of circumstances, he won the presidency of like a bunch of candidates that year. It's just it was a perfect storm of whatever that he shouldn't have won, but he did. I think I remember and hearing he, about that. And he and he started going really hard on that stuff, and he was like, 
he was like, we are not, you're not seceding. And if you do, we're going to fucking wipe you out because I've got the resources and I know how to do it because he knows all this. Anyway, and he was actually making great progress on this and that, but he was making, I mean, he, he was, he was like, if Trump was good because all the politicians hated him, but he was making a lot of progress towards not war. It sounded like, and it just seemed really suspicious that basically all of a sudden he died when they couldn't test him for anything. And then right after that, the guy that took his spot, I guess the vice president was, he disagreed with him and he turned him down on something semi previously. And then in the, like the week after that, they passed a bunch of shit that he didn't want to go through. And basically because of that chain of events that allowed the civil war to basically happen later, like just because of the instability. And they basically were wondering like, if he didn't die, I mean, maybe we wouldn't have had it anyway, just really interesting article but people still don't know whether or not he he was he died. They dug him up and they did arsenic testing was all they were able to do because arsenic is something that that survives for a long time. And they found like trace amounts, but like not enough that they thought would have been like at the time Isn't to have done that. Isn't there small but I'm amounts like, of arsenic but I'm like, in like seeds, like in pits? Yeah, but not of... but that but not that like it was more than the seeds. But like, like he was just popping the cherries whole, you know, and like it was like nom, 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 and eating all the seeds. It wasn't from the seeds, but it, it was a, it was a weird amount where I think it was it was more than you would get from any normal amount of food, but it was less than to any normal somebody, amount of arsenic. But it was normal. But it was it was less than <laughs> it was less than what someone would normally do by dumping arsenic into something. So they were like, well, we don't know. But I'm like, it's it's any arsenic is arsenic so and anyway there was a spicy (laughs) well and they just said there was a gazillion poisons that they couldn't test for because they're they're gone anyway so i just was looking at that's a conspiracy theory that i i'm fully on that i think he was assassinated because he was uh people did not like what he was doing anyway it's like the mummy's curse um when yeah the, the you've never heard that one when they uh the uh what tutankhamen or Mm-hmm. Yeah, that yeah, one. Okay. When they took him out, and they like they were so excited to like open yeah, up the that casket, was weird. And they ripped the head off and stuff. <laughs> oh, I don't I remember like, them ripping the head off. I just remember the um, curses and like everybody dying. Yeah, everybody dying. Um, yeah, he they they accidentally ripped the head off. And they just don't talk about that because then the people are like, we don't want them to know. I wonder that. why. <laughs> and they're like, they're like, no, 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 no. We, we're, we're good. You know, we, 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 we just dug at- all the way in here. <laughs> Whoops. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Was I not supposed Kobe. to do that? <laughs> yeah, Colby. Oh, yeah. Hey, should my arm be all of a sudden turning black? Oh. <laughs> yeah, there was like a lot of theories that like, oh, when you open up the really tightly sealed, you know, sarcophagus, whatever, it has bacteria growing from the mummy, and then it's all over yeah. in the sarcophagus, and then when you open it, it's like, you know, the it's mummy. Airborne. Yeah. yeah, the mummy. <laughs> <laughs> whatever yeah, stuff that. existed at that time and some people believe that you know those people were exposed to it because some of them got pneumonia or something and they think that was like what led to some of their deaths and then they put their noses directly up to it and as soon as they cracked it they were like <laughs> ah! <laughs> smells like old <laughs> get that sweet 5000 BC dust oh, right in my so lungs good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just say it's not funny, okay? <laughs> no, no. It's, it's grody. Yeah. That's um, where she leans over. <laughs> funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then the guy who died the closest to when they opened There were several. The tomb. Yeah, yeah he died like, I don't know, three days or something after it happened. Basically, he... Uh, got bit by a mosquito, and then the mosquito made his blood, like, a little susceptible to infection. So, Just like, a he, little susceptible yeah, yeah, to yeah, death. Yeah, yeah, so, like, his <laughs> immune system was, like, low or whatever, uh, weak, and then um, he was shaving, and then he shaved over the little mosquito bump, and, um, yeah, he died from that <laughs> and so yeah it was like it's like how this motherfucker died from like, oh the dear worst. yeah and oh. it was literally 
it was literally like that, and I was like, that one, that one's a little sus. A little sus, if you ask me. <laughs> but a lot of the people who were on that, like, expedition thing... I think that up... mosquito had a gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, a lot of them lived to, like, their 80s, though, so... Oh, did Whatever. they? I didn't know that. Yeah, which is yeah, like... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a fun thing for, for that people time to be like, too, ooh, so. yeah, yeah. They're like half mummified. <laughs> like, <you're laughs> they're just, they're like, mummified they already. Touch them. <laughs> yeah. Doing the whole, yeah. Spaghetti, please. <laughs> <laughs> they, keep snu- <laughs> they keep snuffing, like, the mummy bandages, like it's, like, underwear. <laughs> they're I'm gonna live till I'm 80. Bandages, like spaghetti. They're like... <laughs> They're sitting, like, they freshly open this thing, and they're like, they have the chopsticks, like, all right, dig in. <laughs> of the intestines? <laughs> Yum. <laughs> oh, have you might know this. When they open, like, I assume they open those things, were they still, like, squishy? I mean, were they airtight, sealed, those things? They were so. supposedly, like, pretty, pretty tight, but I don't know about airtight, like, <laughs> compared to now I'm like yeah yeah, yeah pretty juicy <laughs> pretty juicy no Get pick that up flat on that one <laughs> Wait, but i can do it bigger that one was filled with wasps bodies? okay are you asking if the bodies were still no no, no like, like the the, the, the the jars of the organs the jars of the oh organs. no they did like a they did like a process to dry them so Oh, to, true. Okay. You know, to keep Set them... Set them on fire. <laughs> Set them on fire. Suck it out was, the stress. It was Suck just them like dry. Was, <laughs> <laughs> Messed up the joke. God, I wish I was an Egypt. Oh, God. Ah, uh, stomach juice. <laughs> yeah. My mouth is... <laughs> Your jaw falls off. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think it was squish, squishy, but... I do like Look at the, the spleen. I do like that they fully keep the face intact by like going in through the nose and then like pulling everything out through the nose yeah, and mouth I love and that. stuff. So <laughs> Sorry. Cool. Why don't we do that now? Wow. Yeah, for real. Why don't our funerals like look like mummies? That'd be sick. Yeah, honestly. Have you ever seen that image of like a it's like a passport <laughs> where like Oh grandma he looks so peaceful. <laughs> Not like he's screaming in hell. <laughs> I have to show you guys an image. It's like, like I don't know how long ago this was, but uh, they were like, "Can we bring this guy into other countries?" It was a, it was a mummy, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and so they, then they gave him a passport. This is Mr. And, Johnson. <laughs> yeah, and they gave him like a Hi. passport. <laughs> and, yeah, they gave him a passport and they made him like sit up for like a passport photo, like the Very movie, nuts. you know. <laughs> And, then, and they're like, this is this is the only way we can get him to travel over international borders or whatever. And then th- this is the image. This is the image. <laughs> I can't oh. see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's his passport photo. And Grandpa then like, Bob. And then it's just like, Ramesses the second country, Egypt, uh, nationality, Egyptian, uh, like date of birth, like uh, can one. Can I see the picture again? One. 30. Date of birth one. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like one thousand three hundred and three BC. And I was like, what? wait, they actually got him a passport? Like they weren't trying to fake yeah, yeah, anything? It's, it's a passport. It's a passport. That's that's they... me one hour with no lean. <laughs> <laughs> no, no lean. The nic- the nicotine. Oh. <laughs> you have to show me the meme. I don't know the meme. It's it's. Dude, look up this guy's photo. It's a real passport because they didn't know at the time like what the rules were for like transporting like a full like intact. Body. I don't know. If we're transporting a dead body, do we have to like? Yeah, make they're him like, a whole life. <laughs> yeah, they're like, do we give him like? Do we, give do him, we like, treat him like a human? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, dude, are you kidding me? Look at that. Did they He's pop? A oh my god. <laughs> people were people were stupid back then. Goodness gracious. <laughs> they have him unwrapped and everything. Look at his neck. <laughs> they fully exposed that bitch to the elements to get a passport photo. I know, I know. Just like, His <laughs> face like is blowing away like <sighs> Like, oh get the picture quick! <laughs> Dusty <laughs> <laughs> Like Bill. Someone has to sweep him up. <laughs> Someone has to sweep him up at Walgreens, they're all pissed. They're like, <laughs> 
this fucking bullshit. I didn't sign up for this. That was and dirt. They're like, yeah, and they're like, wait, 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 we need that. We need that. We're gonna stuff it back into the mummy tissue. Like the all the lights stuff. are like, all the yeah. lights are flickering. The janitor's like, I fucking hate this job. Yeah. I oh. Some curse. Fuck like, me. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> You're the like, reason we're like, in this mess. Yeah. Some like, yeah. <laughs> some like. Uh. Uh, Gate, the dog gatekeepers of like hell or whatever the, the hellhound things just start popping out of nowhere and they're like god damn yeah, it yeah. not again again <laughs> <laughs> the hell you mean again <laughs> uh, is it walgreens where you get passport photos i've never gotten a passport photo i got mine at Costco. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh, aren't you rich i got five passports <laughs> What? Do you Costco. actually? No. Oh. It's a Costco hey, cause... joke, wholesaler. Yeah, I'm sorry, okay. sorry, yeah, sorry. Program, I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm stupid. I'm oh my dumb. goodness. Oh, well, I mean, some people have multiple, like Jason Bourne. Sorry, I don't, I don't know. I guess I'm stupid. I'm trying to prove why I'm not dumb, but... <laughs> When people have their old ones that are not, like, you know, valid yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. I like the ones where my friends were, like, straight up babies and they show me those ones. And it's just, like, them holding, like, the parent holding the baby's head up and it's just, like... Just gripping them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's just, like... <laughs> Waterboarding them. <laughs> babies, you have to get passport photos? Yeah. I've never seen a baby's passport photo. What Everyone the fuck? needs a identification. <laughs> that's not him arrest that baby that's a different baby they all that's a same. bomb <laughs> they grab him by the leg and just chuck him across the floor <laughs> get him out of here <laughs> it was a bomb yeah, get him the hell out of here <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite job in the world the base <laughs> the baby bouncer the TSA baby thrower yeah. what a wild job I didn't know that. I mean, I guess that makes sense if you're traveling with... I just never thought they cared about traveling with a baby to France. I just didn't think they were like, no, no, no. Who is that baby, though? We need to know who the fuck that baby is and everything about it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he was choking that thing out. Goodness. That was fresh out the womb. Goodness. <laughs> Or when the barber says, stay still. <laughs> Dude, that happened to be at sports clips this weekend. I finally got my fucking haircut. <laughs> and she hit some fucking like, resonant frequency on my skull that I've never hit before. It was just like everything in my brain was vibrating. I was like, oh my fucking gosh. And I then she, just enhanced by like 2,000 I start projectile vomiting across the room. It pushes my barber stop. chair. I'm like, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> I start spinning. I turn my head. I'm like, Bleh. yeah. I was gonna say your head spins all the way around. You start crawling all the way. Like one eighty. <laughs> the buzzer's still going, so it's just like, nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. stay still, <laughs> stay still. Damn you! I I hate my appearance enough. Um, so I'm glad I got it just in time for like my second most popular video of all time. So I'm like, all right, good, 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 good riddance. Because uh, I look yeah. presentable. Thank I God. Look I thank God it was not two days before. It would have been hideous. And I filmed it in public, which was terrifying. That's like the second video I've ever filmed like outside of my room. Yeah, I was going to say. I hated it. How did you time it to have like no people behind you? I went I, I, I went to walk at lunch, so there wasn't very many people. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I waited for, for a second until there was like no one on either end. And then I did a, did a few takes. And I then hated I, filming stuff yeah. in public. And then someone was friend... standing directly behind me. And I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When my friend would film, like, vines, she'd be like, bro, just do it. Just say, just say, oh my cock. Like, in the middle of the fucking, like, grocery aisle right, with all these right, people right, right. walking by. And I'm like, dude, I can't. And I just, <laughs> ugh. The... Yeah, I can't do that stuff. I can't at all. And like, then, like, Kevin, my like delivery Kevin's... is so, like, cringe. And then I try, and I'm like, I finally get the courage, and then I'm right. like, my cock! And I'm uh, like, damn yeah, it! Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, the I'm delivery like... is so bad, you're like, I, I can't use this. I'm like, I'm not refilming. Kevin, Kevin does stuff all the time, like, outside, like, just in the park. I'm like, how in the hell do you do that? He, he does ridiculous things in the park. And I'm like, I don't understand how in the world... 
you build up the courage to do that. I would rather die than do that. Yeah, my friend, she had... My neighbors are like, we wish you would. We wish you would, honestly. (laughs) She had the biggest balls. She would do the weirdest shit. And then she was like, hold on, I look ugly in that one. Uh, Let me do another take, another take. And it's just her in, like, a ski mask, like, a black ski mask. And she's pretending to be, like an ISIS wife, like, like, bride per- and I'm like, whoa, dude, whoa, whoa, just, like, what? in public, and I'm like, <laughs> and then she's like, film it, keep it rolling, keep it rolling, and I'm like, <laughs> you're like, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> yeah, I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. What the yeah. fuck kind of, yeah, I hope, that, is that still around? ISIS fell off. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's all about the Taliban now. ISIS is really short now. What the hell happened? I had an email that came through yesterday that said like, "Oh, you have an appointment today." And I was like, "What?" And like, I, I have that's to, all it says. Nothing yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, and it was like an appointment at a subject location. line was the same thing. Yeah, yeah, and it was like, I "You have had an appointment to... today. You have an appointment today." Yeah, yeah. Huh? It, 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 it just said like clinic, like, <laughs> and I was like, "What?" Clinic review. Doc Doctor. Yeah, it doctor was so, at clinic location. It was so vague. And I was Doctor just like, at Clinic Hospital location. <laughs> but it was an email from my actual my chart thing, so I was like, what? And then I checked on my my chart and it was like past appointments. Like I'd already done it because by the time I checked my email, it was like, oh, 45 minutes until this appointment, which was like an hour away. And I was like, I was like, what is this appointment for? I never made this. Like, did did the doctor or nurse schedule this when I was leaving? And I just, and like, had that was the blood, and you're like, ah, oh, maybe it's for that. <laughs> maybe, maybe I did. Yeah. I know, I'm having all these issues, and my friends are like, when's the next time you're going to the doctor? And I'm like, oh, the 20th. And then I get an email that's like, yes, the 3rd, today, you have an appointment. And I'm like, Yes, Whoa. today, the 3rd, 45 yeah. minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I was like, I did not make this appointment. Also... The time it said I was supposed to be there was six o'clock, but the clinics all close at five o'clock. Hmm, so I, I was like, "Sketch, I was, you up." Yeah, I was like, "What the hell?" They're murder. Yeah, I was like, "What the hell is this?" Like the lab is open twenty four seven, and they're doing testing and stuff, but open to like for appointments and stuff. It's only Can we open test from like you seven. At six? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was only open from Here's like my seven doctor. to five. Oh, there is a doctor. There's nothing. There's nothing. Appointment at clinic. Yeah. <laughs> six o'clock. Come on in. Hi, I'm the janitor. <laughs> <laughs> Eat this. Pee in this cup for me. <laughs> <laughs> Takes the cup. I, uh, I need, I'm gonna need we both drank it at the same time. <laughs> I'm glad that's our first thought when we think of Juliana <laughs> pissing in a cup. <laughs> it's mostly soda. Mm, so? Lemonade. No, with you it would be acid. It would burn a hole in my throat. There is no <laughs> cup left. There is no cup. Yeah. It's out of, the cup before my, it's out of the cup before my lips get to it. It's the secret of the ooze. It's just so burning ooze. through the fucking floor. Yeah. I I was delivering like a, a vial of some like test Piss. Teams. With, it literally just had my breath in it, supposedly. I'm like, how do they extract this and test my breath? Yeah, it was like that. Like, I, that's exactly what you do. What? It's just like you you Wait, breathe into this not... little bag. Okay, thing, so, so and you then goes, breathe into something. You breathe into a bag. And I then thought like wild. one day you got there and they're like, all right, take this to the doctor. And you're like, Wait, no, no. You breathe in, you breathe, yeah, you breathe this into the This is your bag. breath. We took it from you. Yeah, <laughs> While you were sleeping. It, it it was such a long process, uh, it, like collecting the br- collecting the breath it took like in, in three hours and thirty minutes or something like that. Oh, so oh, oh. Took you told me about this ever. test, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's the one where like I had to eat like a really like a shitty diet yeah, yeah, yeah. for like yeah, yeah, for like one day where like all I ate was <laughs> chicken broth such and t- rice. And that was all I ate, and I only ate one bowl of it, and it was just, like, a bowl of mush, and that was all I could eat, and I was like, this is terrible. So, like, the next day when I had I'm to fast- I'm gonna eat some cheese. Yeah, yeah, the next day when I had to fast, I was, like, so fucking hungry, because, like, I, I didn't want to eat the garbage that I was allowed to eat, so I was like, ah, this sucks. And then, um, I wake up hungry as fuck. I'm like, family, please wake up so you can help me collect this breath. Please, nobody's getting up. 
And then somebody finally Let's gets get up. this breath, family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then somebody finally Sorry. wakes up and we're like, okay, we're, we're on it. We're on a deadline, guys, because we're going to go to the Mariners game and like the place we're dropping oh, the game this off was at. more important than, <laughs> yeah, than yeah, your yeah. breath. Yeah, yeah. It was like your well, health. Like, Dude, we have a game to go yeah, to. We gotta your go. health. I got to watch people run around the, the squares, Mariners, my dude. The Mariners are going to clinch the playoffs for the first time in 21 years. <laughs> Wow, that's so. I feel so fucking old, dude. We were just talking about Rachel. Sorry, really quick thing. We were just talking about Rachel Zegler, you know? And I was oh, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, she's probably like, I don't know, 27, 30. She's 21. I was like, holy fucking shit. She right. was born. Okay, in- she, was, she was 19 when they filmed West Side Story. Ew. I was like, well, I guess you're in high school, so that makes sense. No, but well, yeah, after after it was filmed, that was like when the allegations came out about him like taking advantage of teenage girls. So uh, I was like, icky. "Oh, are, we, are you talking about uh, what's his name, Ansel White McBroomface?" Yeah, I Ansel, can't remember. Like, like Egg Gort or he something. looks like a young Marlon Brando if his face melted. He looks like he looks like if a farmer's pail came to life. <laughs> <laughs> two, two, two very different descriptions. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this man looks like, but I'll just take your word for it. <laughs> you got you a bucket what? and Marlon Brando. You can find both those descriptions and it's pretty accurate. <laughs> like, a melted Marlon Brando and a bucket. He looks like, like this. A bucket personified. <laughs> and that's exactly what he looks like. That's what he looks like. <laughs> And he talks just like he looks. He's like, and he like crickles up his go out with you? <laughs> and he's like, and he's like tries to smolder. And he's like, hey baby, <laughs> okay, he was good in Baby Driver. I liked, I liked that movie. Well, because he was wearing sunglasses, so we couldn't see yeah, half his face. See his face. <laughs> yeah, and his face was straight the whole time. He didn't. Of course, he's gonna be good when he looks like this. Yeah, yeah. He didn't, his character. The best part about his character is he hardly spoke. Yeah, and true. He didn't act at all. Like his face was just. And he was supposed to act stupid. Yeah. He was just like. That was his character. And ten like, minutes no, into the movie, really someone's good. like, "Is he?" Ten minutes into the movie, they're like, "Is he slow?" <laughs> yeah, that, that's what they say. I'm pretty sure they say. I think it was like Jamie. Fox and then he just goes to his room and he's like, "What? Am I, is he slow? What? Am I, is he slow?" <laughs> With his dumb face. Well, sorry, sunglasses on. So. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He, so so Daniel's not making fun of disabled people. He was yeah, using no, 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 his sorry. records that looked very bad. He uses like music throughout the whole movie, so he just takes clips from like recordings, and then he just starts playing that over and over again on his little tape recorder. As someone thing. who's never seen Baby Driver, I was very confused. Yeah, oh, yeah, like, I thought you'd little, seen it. Like, I'm sorry. So you just thought like, I was twitching my hand yeah. going. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Okay. yeah. I, I, was like, I, uh, I noticed it when uh, Nick made a face. When Nick made a face, I was like, holy shit, wait, wait a minute, oh, wait no. a minute. He's not pulling Trump when he's making fun of that disabled, like, journalist. I was like, man, I didn't think Daniel would Whoa, whoa, journalist? <laughs> what? Who? Yeah. What? Whoa, what? What? Oh, Trump you, making fun of the disabled remember? guy? Yeah, you don't remember when Trump did that? Oh, oh, no, I, I, don't, remember the, I don't remember exactly what he said, because I, yeah, I wasn't was really paying attention, but I know he did it. just like... I saw the headline. Like, a disabled person and was like, you know, doing like, like doing this? a yeah. voice, yeah, and was doing the arms and was like, I'm so stupid. I think Trump is dumb. Oh, he said that out loud. Yeah, Trump. I'm not, I don't but, know why I'm surprised. But Trump was doing like, you know, the whole voice and like yeah. oh, trying great. to make himself look disabled and everything. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I was like, and this was right when the grabber by the pussy thing happened. It was the same oh. week, and I was like, same week. Wow, what a week. He went up and it's only in Thursday. the polls. <laughs> yeah, and he went up in the polls. He went up in the polls after uh. all that terrible stuff that week. I was like, no fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> I remember no him going way. up after the pussy one. I don't remember the that the journalist one the being week. that same week. That's wild. Ew. Wow. And, and then and then wholesome Bernie Sanders is like sitting at a podium and a little bird drops on his podium and then he just like smiles and then like Trump is literally like just making fun of like disabled people in the same Everyone's week. Like, Boo. And I'm like, <laughs> Sanders went down in the ball. Yeah, Sanders went down. I what hate is, birds. What's with that what is bird? he some kind of Disney princess? Get him out of here. Yeah. Get him out of here. Get yeah. him the hell out of here. I dude, as someone who's never seen it, I didn't know what I was looking at. I thought you had seen it. No, no, no. I was trying to do like scratching records. I was trying to do like trying to do scratching records. Trying to do scratching records. Oh, gag. Oh goodness. Yeah. No. Okay. So now we have to watch 
Baby Driver is a good movie, but it's because of Edgar Wright and the driving stunts and yeah, yeah. really nothing to do with Ansel Elgort yeah. and all to do with Lily James. Yeah. Whew. Anyway, um, Whew! what we're we talking about. Sexy mama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, West Side Story. Yeah. No, Rachel Ooh, Zegler. It's... Sexy mama. <laughs> yeah, that too. Um, no, I just yeah, thought she, she was liked, like. She liked Daniel's videos. She's trying to smash. I hate, I hate you. You're such a dude because every time I innocently come. <laughs> you are. You innocently every... what? Dude, she literally That's messaged me at two in the morning and said women are holes, and then didn't elaborate no, like, like, any further. No, it was just... <laughs> and then she hasn't looked at any of my messages since. Uh, that basically was like the last response I sent to Nick for like seven months. Like it was just a joke I made where Nick was like, "Check out this." this yeah, girl. great she's joke. Really, she's a really good artist, and I was like, "No, women are only holes," and like as a joke. And then he, and then he was like, "Everyone." This is the last thing she said to me for a whole year. And I was like, it's true. <laughs> It is wild, though. It wasn't just one. It's, like, more than one. So I'm like, okay, I'm on her, like, For You page. I'm like, okay, I'm well, I'm going to follow radar. her. I'm going to follow mm-hmm. her. So that's that. And DM West Side her. Story 2. Uh, 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 the one about- white guy that's just traips her. <laughs> start talking about musicals with her. Talk about Shrek the Musical. She was in that. <laughs> in high school she was in oh i it was like she was in shrek 2 the movie i know what you did in high school <laughs> like, well, i just yeah, i just happened I've to been, be watching i've been following you for a while <laughs> no i just happened to be watching a documentary like uh interview. i'm 25 let's tell the taylor swift stands <laughs> I just happened to be watching a documentary, like, interviewing the cast, and it was like, oh, look, like, these are, like, what the original cast was like, and, like, here's the new cast members, and then they were talking about how she was selected out of, like, millions of girls who auditioned, and she wasn't expecting to get it because she didn't have, like, any, like, actual stage experience except... I thought you were going to say talent, and I was like, dude, you're blowing my chances here to get on the podcast. Shut up. No, no. But, like, she she didn't have, like, any, like, professional stage experience, so she wasn't expecting it to. But then, you know, they hit her up, and she got a call directly from like the big head honcho people and they were like yeah we we like all of your image we like everything about how you did blah 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 blah. i think you're perfect for this and she was like huh <laughs> so that's great that's cool very cool cool story and cool then they're story, like we're, but you're gonna be with ansel elgort ah oh, fuck <laughs> Damn it. he walks in and like <laughs> God, <I'm> from- <laughs> <Maria>. <laughs> sorry <laughs> i just met a girl then Maria, <laughs> dude, shut up. <laughs> he is he is really tall. He's weirdly tall. How tall? Uh, How tall like is six, he? Isn't he like six three, six four? I was like, my gosh, I, I did not know. know that. Is it all in his forehead? <laughs> <laughs> forehead? <laughs> that's good. That was good. That was good. Uh, that's funny. Ooh. I did see something that I thought of you guys for yesterday. Um, uh, it was a. Uh, it was a. Uh, <laughs> Was it a... I saw a roadkill on the side of the road and the <laughs> engine shit itself and I was like, you know what? You know what? I haven't I saw talked some... to them in a while. I, <laughs> yeah. I saw Trump making fun of the disabled person and I was like, yeah, this reminds me of Nick. Oh, and Nick. All the... <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. So um, it was a Drew... G- G- no, no, guy? Daniel Gonzalez. Sorry. Um, they were. He went to the Stanley Hotel and was like, what was an actual night at the Stanley Hotel like? And anyway, they started talking about the actual Stephen King story that, like, inspired The Shining. I thought he actually got, like, haunted there or something like that. No. He basically went to bed and had a dream and then wrote a big-ass book that night. And really? that's how they made that's The Shining. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah so it has nothing to do with the fucking hotel. There was he no ghost or anything. Son <laughs> getting chased by a, a fire hose. <laughs> Very interesting. A fire After hose? doing a line a of coke off the Stanley Hotel AC unit, yeah. Like, if you I, look in the AC unit, there's still powder. No, <laughs> oh my He's God. like, there is? <laughs> he comes back again. Bring me my vacuum. <laughs> and he said, just because he had a dream in that room, he said that his the room that Stephen King stayed in is booked from now till the next seven years until every like Halloween. Forever. Now until yep. yeah, probably. Yeah, that is Doesn't insane. He it looks terrible. that number? Like, doesn't he reference that number in, like, yeah, multiple so. other yeah. movies? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. I, and and I never knew what it looked like inside the rooms, but I mean, he was showing what the rooms look like. They look awful. I wouldn't want to stay in one of those rooms. It's got like one of those like sitting units, and everything's made of like termite wood, and like ooh, a wooden sink. Everything's chewed away. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's all old, and they're like, oh, it's to be authentic that we don't have any like. You yeah, know, it's air. to be authentic that we don't yeah, didn't have do like any AC, renovations. Right? <laughs> yeah, which I mean, they're in Colorado, but I mean, it's still, it's like. <laughs> They don't have heat. It's just, well, like, they're trying to be authentic. But like he there. said, there's a giant AC unit sitting in the corner. Like, it just looks fucking terrible. It's mm. just them being cheap. But it, it looks like, an, like, if you walk, it looks like a bad apartment building that you get in Chicago if you had no money, but you had to make ends meet. Like, that's what it, it looks like look to me. It doesn't look that bad. Yeah, it did. I saw I mean, it. No, it no, no. Shit. Put up a picture no. on the screen. The rest <laughs> of the see. hotel... Yeah, but the room, the room looked like no, mice like your, would come your out of it. standard, like, Holiday Inn. It didn't look like anything No, it special. fucking did yes, I would did. much it rather just stay like at a, a motel. fucking Holiday Inn. <laughs> Holiday yeah, Inn just... looks like it was built this year versus the Stanley is like, it's well, you can still bad. see it. You can still see the no original cow like. in the other room. <laughs> 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 uh-huh. They do have Wait, the largest so... Seleski. Seleski, I'm fucking spazzing. They have the largest selection of... <laughs> whiskey on oh. not tap but i mean like i think they have the largest the whiskey selection of whiskey tap. at bar oh. in the country mm-hmm. i think that's random yeah i don't know why i know that i'm a raging alcoholic <laughs> <laughs> By something the way. you want to tell us <laughs> yeah. no <laughs> i do cocaine with stephen king so stephen king is one giant phony and uh <laughs> <laughs> One giant phony. He still okay. made the story. I'm kidding. Yeah, he that still wrote that the... big ass book. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point in the podcast, we're skipping over a few conversation points for the sake of time. So excuse the awkward segue and have a terrible evening. Oh, uh, some some people have a what do you call it? Two Racism? bar tubular boobs. Two bar two. I don't know what the word is. It's when they huh? have boobs that are like, like they're like tubes, like. They stick out kind of like the sausage That's Daniels. Sick. That's so cool. <laughs> I need to find one immediately. I gotta do I, research. <laughs> I need to find her. <laughs> Pringles can shape. T- wait, wait. I gotta call Juliana. <laughs> I. <laughs> the fifty dollar tier is just for her. <laughs> or him. I mean, honestly. <laughs> for him. <laughs> for him. If you are the person with this. This is only for you. We all need Press. to just die, honestly. <laughs> it's caused by abnormally thick and strong connective tissues Ooh. on the chest. Got connected boobs. <laughs> so all these tits I've been been with are just disconnected and shit? What? Uh, they well, I don't want to show you images of uh, like real, real women, so I'm just going to show you like a cartoon. All these no, 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 send I've the real images. These... They're like this, you know? That's not a tube. That's not well, a this, tube. This, okay, the well, the real women, the real women, it's more, it's it's definitely more. I'm going to need some real proof send here. Send it We're in the group some... chat. I need to save oh, this. <laughs> send it in the group it's chat. It's poor night in I the group research. chat. It's for research. It's for research. Nick, why do you keep typing in the group chat at 3 in the morning? <laughs> it's 3 a.m. We're all just Don't naked sleep. in our beds in the group chat. <laughs> naked in the chat with the boys. <laughs> oh my God. Looking at those tubular boobs. <laughs> my We're brother is... I, I went on incognito this weekend. And I did look up I finally. Up boobs. <laughs> no, I didn't look up the video because I I knew I wasn't well, gonna want to see it. Whatever right. it was, I looked up what is two girls one cup. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. Oh. And oh. now I know. Um, You've never seen it. I'm never going to see it. Yeah, you are. <laughs> oh, you just you just googled what it was. Fuck I you, you, I am. I thought you had seen it. <laughs> I thought group you saw trip, it. Group Nick, trip, group Nick, trip. if you come to, <laughs> I'll watch it. Actually. Together. Yep. <laughs> and we'll record your reaction. Sure. And you can't look away. And you can't look away. You can't look away. You can't look okay, away. Okay, fine. Deal. <laughs> ah, deal. <laughs> You're like, yeah. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a lot. <laughs> See, yeah, if, I was gonna if, say. if you're saying that, can you imagine what my reaction is going to be? You're going to pass out. <laughs> If I okay, here's the deal. I can can I look away, but if I do, we have to go back. 
<laughs> you have to start like, all over. I want if I have to pause, I want to be able to pause and take a breath, right? Yeah. Fine. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. He's I'm crying. Just, it's the like video's torture. over. There's just a ring of sweat around oh his my neck. God. <laughs> if I have to go pray in between, it's like I, Guantanamo gonna... Bay, Bay style torture. <laughs> and he's just like, I can't stop. I can't do this. <laughs> I'm like wandering at the arch, like half dressed, like telling people, like, have you, did you know this existed? They're like, yeah, yeah, dude, can you get out of our picnic? Daniel's just crying. (laughs) I'm just like teared up, like just weeping. People are going to recognize me in St. Louis now because of this video. Do you realize this? This video is going to be forever. This video I posted the other day is going to be fully associated with me in St. Louis. I did not think that was going to go viral. Why is it viral? It's not even funny. It is. I was, like, I was oh. oh my gosh, I was scrolling a video on TikTok. I don't know how this made it past like their filter for moderation. It was just like a, a meme video in the background, but the sound was a blowjob, like a very <laughs> graphic <laughs> blowjob. <laughs> and I kept listening because I was like, there has to be a joke at the end of this, right? Nope. And no, it just went on. And, uh, and I was like, I am a terrible person. <laughs> I mean, it was... I know, right? I was like, how do you know they weren't eating a popsicle? Oh, I know. <laughs> they they thought it was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> About that. This guy they, just loves ice cream. They, yeah, they were just enjoying it. They were just really enjoying it. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, was it a guy um, screaming? but so great. So it's like after that, I was I tried to swipe as fast as possible. And I was like, great. Now the TikTok algorithm was like, oh, he likes them blue job audios. <laughs> Every video is like, because <laughs> you watched all the way through. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. He had a lot of engagement like, great. with this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. At Mariners games. Dude, the worst day was when there was like really bad forest fires, like not too far away from Seattle. And like actually like game on area. yeah yeah and they still had the game and i was up on like the top level so like i was directly exposed to the air and it's like when the sky is all like totally gray and dark and it was like in mid 80s so it was really hot and then like really smoky and they're like this was oh, 30 for- years ago no yeah Sorry. and they're like for every two hours you're outside it's equivalent to smoking eight cigarettes and so like i had to work my whole shift and i think i worked i just worked like 10 hours that you had to actually do that that's like a lawsuit what the fuck yeah yeah and then like after three days of doing that they finally gave us masks like halfway through the last shift but i was like fucking asshole and then (laughs) wow yeah no kidding and then whenever they scored the mariner scored they would still blow off the fireworks so they blew them off right next to where i was working and then the smoke would just stay there it would just it was just trapped right where I was and I was just like <laughs> The sky is on fire, the yeah, fireworks yeah, yeah. don't go out. It's just Yeah. Explosions. <laughs> yeah. I was working what, like Jewish Heritage Night one of those days, and then I was working like uh ooh, I don't remember what the other auga. one was. Some some auga. Nurse like nurse appreciation. And then the next day was like game of Nurse Appreciation. Night. The fire is literally outside. Yeah, the door. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like, you know, like my first two shifts were like normal eight hour ones or whatever, and then my last one was like a ten hour one because it was like a specialty night. So instead of like a small group of people, it was like, oh, whole stadium, it's a Game of Thrones night. So like a bunch of people come dressed as like Game of so Thrones character. Great. And we have like oh, a fantastic. giant we have a giant iron throne like a bunch of families fucking each other yeah sorry and then like you know like the throne overseeing the stadium and i'm just sitting there having to take pictures of people all day for like 10 hours standing right where the smoke is coming through i thought it was like someone's actual like job Job. like (laughs) well i I thought like you would get at least tip for that like it was like your actual (laughs) job like a photographer yeah yeah, but well, then my cousin was randomly there that day, so I was like, oh, what's up? <laughs> oh, hey. Fire? <laughs> yeah, like, like she was like, oh, get in the picture with me, and the other girl taking the photos. <coughs> two of us. <coughs> yeah, yeah. And it's just me, like, mad sweaty in this uniform that's, like, way too big for me. Covered and I'm just, in like, soot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. On and fire. I'm, and I'm just like... <laughs> you look like, like a like, chimney yeah. sweep. Like a small yeah. English boy fresh out of a chimney. <laughs> yes. 
I was like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> That's terrible. Well, I was gonna say the nice thing about St. Louis is no forest fire outside, but we do sit on like the largest fault line in the world. So who knows when that's going off? So is ours. Big fires then. Can't wait for my little alarm to go off then. Have them be like, maybe it's an emergency. <laughs> Actually, the entire world outside is in a crevice. So yeah, you know what? It's an emergency. Time From to go. Hey, so the building's underground. Um. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually three miles underground and falling still. So, oh you know, God. I mean, don't Brace take the elevator. <laughs> to the center of the earth. <laughs> when I went to Vancouver, like all of the buildings were like all glass. Like all of them. And I was like, you're oh. on the same fault line as us. Like, No, it's smart because it looks yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks cool and it looks like futuristic. Just like plastic clean. surgery. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm like. Huh, but like the slightest like shaking isn't all like aren't all the buildings gonna come crashing down? But <laughs> no, they'll come shattering down with the yeah, debris that's yeah, sharper true. than but it'll look you know cool. <laughs> swords. It'll look cool when it happens. <laughs> it'll look cool. My body is sliced into a thousand pieces before your very eyes. Can't wait to have glass shards fly into my eyes. <laughs> You know that that guy in that meme? He uh, made a comment about the new Little Mermaid movie, of and I'm like, "Dude, what are you in?" Because I was right dying now? to know what he was thinking. Those have been my favorite TikToks though that I've sent you. Like one of them was like, I, "Actually, scientifically, they just wouldn't be able to have skin like that down there." And the other guy's like, "Cool. Do you like black people?" He's like, "No, not especially." Okay, okay. I just wanted to make yeah, sure yeah, yeah. because like this makes no fucking sense because we're talking head. about mermaids. <laughs> Give me the fish head and human legs. That's what yeah. I The real like movie. <laughs> yeah. It blows my mind. I mean, literally, the little, when did The Little Mermaid come out? World War One. How many people are defending <laughs> like this 95. shit? The chick is 15, naked, and white as the fucking snow, and they're like, keep her that way. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, man? Pure. Need the pure Aryan mermaid. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Can't wait for Little Mermaid 2 when Hitler Mermaid comes out. Goodness. There is a Little Mermaid 2. Flippers are like... <laughs> There's a Little Mermaid Whoa, whoa, too, get that flipper then, down. And then her daughter is like, Hitler, man, I stop. Wish... <laughs> flipper, no. <laughs> no, you mentioned Crowder, and I was going to say, I... I I went through a bunch of Snapchat highlights and like blocked a bunch of the ones that kept coming up because I, I had had enough. One of them that came up was like, it was, here's Ben Shapiro's take on top, Ben Shapiro's take on Top Gun. And I was like, who asked for this, dude? Like, uh, let me America. tell you what I think about planes. <laughs> who asked like, this for that? This movie's so patriotic. Uh, I, I literally was coming in the theater if I had, you know, <clears throat> balls. <laughs> Don't <laughs> I really wish my sister came with me. <laughs> <laughs> you really wish you're her sister what, Ben? <laughs> yep, you heard me. Um, I was watching uh, Tom Cruise and I thought, um, uh, his, 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 his boobs were not big enough. <laughs> <laughs> huh? He needs more sisters. <laughs> I, I, I need giant, giant boobs at 5G or whatever in the plane. Oh, I- <laughs> the boobs are literally smattered against the windshield. Yeah, there's just say, so like, many when G's. Yeah, skin is being pulled back. It's like the boobs are just fully flattened. And like, he's like, ah. My fantasy. <laughs> he leans over to her. He's like, I wish you were in that plane right now. <laughs> oh my. Watching your skin fall apart. <laughs> anyway, we should all go because it's, it's midnight. It's been fun. And, um, it's been fun. <laughs> it's been something. I had fun. What do you mean? I always. This is the most fun I have. And then I spend the rest of my time in misery. <laughs> Sitting in, in that little chair. <laughs> yeah. Got like, him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, but, but. This is the only happiness I get in the week. Follow us By on Patreon. By the way, <laughs> if you don't hear if you don't hear from me after tomorrow, I died in the MRI. Is that a common? Okay, bye. <laughs> uh, last time I did an MRI, I went to the ER for seven hours. So. I really? Okay. Cool. Oh. Yep. Um. That's actually. I wasn't exaggerating. <laughs> Don't stop it there. <laughs>